other folks, Alicia here. I'm about to go skiing for the day and I wanted to drop in here quick and talk about the biggest mistake I see skiers making going over rolls. And then we are gonna talk about three ways to fix that mistake so it's something that doesn't hold you back from enjoying the ski hill. So without further ado, let's get into it. The biggest mistake that I see beginners make when they are going over convex rolls is they don't move forward with the terrain. So they end up in the back seat feeling out of control, feeling their calves hit the back of their ski boots, not knowing why they can't control their speed or can't control their turns when they get onto that steeper terrain. I had a coach a long, long, long time ago show me this demonstration and it really blew my mind at the time. If you are going along skiing on a flatter terrain, then you're gonna be staying kind of centered on your skis. This is you and this is your skis. So when you're skiing along that flatter terrain, um, you're pretty much centered on the ski without trying very hard. As you go over a slope onto a steeper slope, so through a roll, you need to actively move forward to match the terrain so that you're still centered. Otherwise, the terrain is gonna move and you're not, and you're gonna end up in the back seat. You're gonna feel your calves on the back of your boots. You are going to maybe feel your toes hit the front of your boots. You're gonna feel out of control and kind of like the skateboard is going out from underneath you or like you can't stop when you need to. So to avoid that, as the terrain gets steeper, you need to move with the terrain to match it, and then you'll stay centered on your ski. Now all this can be fixed with three simple tips, and I'm gonna tell you those today. Tip number one is to extend your hips and feel like you're jumping forward into that new terrain. This can feel a little bit scary, kind of like going over a roll uh, in a roller coaster, but you're gonna maintain control better if you make the dive. If you're not ready to do that move, don't be afraid to stop on the top of the roll and then start skiing again. Tip number two is to work on core strength in the gym. If I'm really strong through my torso, then no matter what's happening underneath my feet, I can absorb rolls, push down the back side of them, and generally handle a wilder ride on the ski hill. Now we've got some core moves in another video that I'll link to here that are gonna make skiing easier. But exercises like front levers, loaded suitcase carries, and pure traditional core work are going to make those muscles strong and gonna make you feel indestructible when you're out on the ski hill. Tip number three is to play on rolls. I think one of the reasons folks end up in the back seat and nervous is because they haven't experienced the rolls before or don't even realize they're happening. They don't notice that they're going from flatter train to steeper train. So next time you see a roll on the ski hill, provided it's safe, practice fun things like pushing down the back side of the roll with your feet, like diving crazy far forward as you go over a roll, like putting all your weight on the outside or on the inside as you're going over these rolls. I think this is gonna do a couple things. One, it's going to take away the fear factor of going over them. Two, it's gonna help you realize what it actually feels like to have your weight forward and outside. And three, it's just plain fun. So I encourage you to give it a try the next time you're at a ski hill. Speaking of your next time out skiing, when you are out there next, remember to do one of our post-ski mobilities. I'll link to them below so you can see them after your day on the hill. Ski. Okay.